I appreciate being given this opportunity to speak. Thank you. I've heard that if you repeat something three times, people are more likely to remember it. Tonight, I will be repeating this message three times. More educators, less computers. In Baltimore County Public Schools, there are 33,000 students currently without air conditioning. 47% of our children are on free and reduced meals. There are schools with foundations sinking into a pond and schools with brown drinking water and bursting pipes. Every week, people complain about their children in elementary and middle schools being left on corners or at schools because there are not enough bus drivers. STAT is expensive. It costs Baltimore County Public Schools $58 million every single year just for the tablets. That is the equivalent to 1,000 teacher salaries. As we all know, technology teachers have been removed from schools and these teachers taught students. Now STAT teachers have taken their place and STAT teachers teach teachers. Therefore, we have already lost teachers for our children to pay for this initiative. I am here tonight to advocate for more educators and less computers. Children do not need their own computers they can share. In addition to that, my first grader in a Baltimore County public school came home last Monday and said to me, Mommy, I don't want to see any more TVs or computers for the rest of the day. Let's just say that my daughter rarely complains about too much screen time in her own words. It turns out that she had had a new substitute that day, and even though the substitute plans only called for 45 minutes of computer time, I do not know how much time she actually spent on her computer that day. I am guessing it was a lot more than 45 minutes given my six-year-old child's response. There were at least two groups of stakeholders who met on Saturday night in one neighborhood about dissatisfaction in Baltimore County public schools, specifically the elementary schools. Parents are concerned about priorities and are even considering alternatives to the elementary schools in Baltimore County public schools. I understand that at least two schools, one elementary and one middle, have allowed their, either their PTA or individual parents to send in a mouse for each child to use with their tablets. And yet this is not approved by Baltimore County Public Schools. It is being done quietly. What about those children who do not have parents advocating for them? At least one teacher requested money from DonorsChoose.org for a Title I school in BCPS, and the others are using a trackpad that does not work for their developing dexterity. This brings up another issue for those of us with concerns about system-wide issues. The stakeholder survey had no space to write any comments or constructive suggestions. There were very few questions regarding the overall policies of Baltimore County Public Schools. For example, there was no space to write that I, as a stakeholder and parent of two children who will attend Baltimore County Public Schools, want more educators and less computers. Please offer us the opportunity for real stakeholder input. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rosen.